welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I do not have the copyright to the music you just heard. I just like to bring in my review with a little music. I would like to first of all to say, keep this country in prayer. Because as you know it, we have two pandemics now. We have the coronavirus and we call we have something that's called racism. And boy. When I say people are really showing their true colors, I'm not going to dwell on that, but I'm just going to say hate is not a good thing. It really is not. And prejudice, racism is, isn't either. I just want to say the book I'm doing a review on now I actually read it back in 2009 when it first came out. And the author said once, go back and read a book that you read several years in the past and just see how you feel about it, you know, because you were in a different place in your life now compared to back when you first read it. When I first read this book, I will be honest. It was just okay. But this time, I look at it totally different. I got it. I really did. Because at first, I was just reading for entertainment. And this time, I was deep. In very deep. Um, with no further ado, um, I don't have the picture. So, it may not look right. Because back then, in 2009, it wasn't. They didn't have the Kindle format like it like it's been now. Basketball Jones by Elon Harris. I read several of his books. I've had a chance to actually meet him before he um, passed away back in 09. Um, I would like to say, I just wonder what Elon Harris would be done gave us today if he was still with us. I know for a fact some of those books that he's wrote would definitely be in a theater, if not on theater, on TV. And if you didn't know, when he passed away, he was actually on his way. He was in L.A. to go meet with a um, production company about making his books into a movie. If I'm not mistaken, I wanted to say it was the um, Invisible Life, that series. Um I highly recommend, if you have never read from Elon Harris, anything by him, check out Invisible Life and go from there. I mean, Invisible Life, This Too Shall Pass, In a Way the Wind Blows, um, Not a Day Go By, I think it's one of them. I, you know what, after reading this book, it makes me want to go back and read those stories and just just to see how I feel, because like I said, when I first read this book, I did not like it. I mean, I ain't gonna say I didn't like it. It was just okay. This time I learned, and I will get to that a little later on in the review. You have AJ, who is, he growed up to be um, interior designer. And then you have Dre, who is a successful NBA basketball player. They met in college. Actually, AJ was his tutor. And, you know, AJ was, like, really, I'm not going to say sweating him, but he was into him. And one thing led to another, and they became lovers in college. Um, and once Ray was drafted by the Atlanta Hawks, AJ thought it was over, but Dre was like, no, you coming with me. He moved him to Atlanta and he took, he basically took care of AJ, his mom and his sister. And AJ really didn't have to do anything really. I mean, but he did go to school and he was an interior designer. When I first read this book, I will say I, I feel like AJ was weak. And that's 
it, he came out to be weak, and I felt like he was stupid. But now that I'm older and I read it the way it is, he was younger. He was in his 20s when all this took place. So, of course, as you get older, you grow and you learn. Um, I will say this. This time around when I read it, I sympathized with AJ. And I was like putting myself in a position of the things that he went through within this book. And I would like to say he he turned out to be good a good character, a good person because some of the, the portrayal that he saw in his life and came across, I just don't know, even to the day that I would be able to turn the other cheek. Also, you have AJ Best Friend, who is Maurice. And when I first read the book, I had forgot all about Maurice. Boy, eye opener in here. Sometimes you can have a friend and you just think the world of them, you confide in them, you trust them. Whew. But sometimes that friend can betray you. And I've been there twice. I've only have I've only have one best friend now. He's always been my best friend, but I also had two other friends. People in my life that I thought was the best friend turn out not to be. And I'm going to leave that alone. Back to the story. AJ and Ray, like I said, was in Atlanta. And then they traded um, Dre to the um, New Orleans basketball team. I think the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, and he moved him there. In the meanwhile, um, Dre loved his father so much. He just don't want to disappoint his father, his family. So what he do, he gets married to this woman by the name of Judy. Judy Ledbetter. Who come from money. And I couldn't get past this part with her and her situation and what she did and why she did it. Um, you have to read the book. Because it compares to what's going on in the world today. And that part just made me mad. It really did. Um, Cisco, that was AJ Trano in the book. I love how Elon had you wondering who revealed the big secret. At times I felt like it was Jane who was... AJ friend, then other times I thought it was Cisco, but it wasn't. When you find out who was behind what in this book, you gonna be like, your mouth gonna drop open. It really is. Um, it consists of 246 pages. Like I said, this time around, I learned so much. What I take from this book is sometimes when people hurt you, disappoint you, and betray you, Rather than seek revenge, sometimes it's best to just walk away. And that's what he did in this book. Um, but you're going to be surprised at how it ends. I mean, the ending was like very... I wasn't expecting that. I was, I just going to say that. Um, my favorite character in this book, when I think about it, I would have to say my favorite character in this book was I like the Jade a lot. I thought she was suspect, but she turned out to be cool and everything. Um, I read this book because of Pride. This month is Pride Month, so I'm going to be doing some more books for Pride Month. Um, I, I kind of want to do something historical with everything that's going on within the world today, but I'm going to do that, but it's probably going to be another time before the year is out. Um, thank those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. If you have not subscribed, Please feel free to do so. I'm also on Instagram, Robert's Reader Room. And I'm also on Facebook. I have my Facebook group is Robert's Reader Room and Reviews. Please subscribe. Um, from time to time, I like to do book giveaways. It's been a while. Um, I hope in the near future, I'm going to be doing another book giveaway. Um, thanks for watching. And please stay safe. Um, please say, stay safe. And remember, if you want to pick it up, it's Basketball Jones, Elin Harris. Please leave a review if you do read by any chance. Please be safe.
Have a great weekend.